Hey guys, what's going on? Boxcar Bill coming to you from the tiny home in Citrus County, Florida. Um, uh, I laid out my gear here. I'm doing a super ultra light uh, two dayer. I'm leaving tomorrow for the Kapuchi State Forest. And uh, I wanted to go super ultra light. Um, it's June, so it's going to be really hot. We just had Hurricane, or not Hurricane, it was Tropical Storm Colin come through here and it dumped a bunch of rain on us. And, uh, you know, I don't know how bad the mosquitoes are going to be out there or anything. Um, I know the heat's going to be hot because it's really hot. And uh, I'm going to have to pack a little extra water in because it's a dry track and make a water catch or two along the way. Looking at about a, you know, pretty, pretty low mile days, only about 10 miles a day. Um, really the first day is only about uh, five and a half miles in and then uh, the next day is about 15 out. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get going here and I'll go over my gear for you and I'll start showing you where I'm at. Alright, we're going to start. I guess we'll start over here with the clothes that I'm wearing. First of all, um, I'm just bringing a pair of darn tough socks. My Columbia Trail Runners, uh, they've been pretty good. I've got about 200 miles on them and I like them. My Buff, uh, Batch Stoves Buff, Mosquito Head Net, Native Hard Top Ultra Glasses. I obviously won't have them in the case. Um, they'll be on my person, on my hair. Um, just a real lightweight, quick dry hat. It's got a full sun protection and it's got a little pull-out thing in the back protect your neck from the sun nothing fancy my little wallet uh, little Tyvek wallet mp3 player just a really lightweight shirt um, nothing fancy really lightweight shorts quick dry I will have some really ultra light um, you know, underwear boxer briefs on too that'll dry really quick uh, from you know moisture weakening. I'll uh, have my stick pick. I included that in my base pack weight, um, although it'll probably be on my trekking poles most of the time. My pack's going to be. I don't know if you can see it. The Gossamer Gear Ruckus. Right now it's got my Hammock Gear quilt in there, so it's just a rucksack pack, drawstring top. Weighs 11 ounces. Um, trekking poles, Cascade Mountain, carbon fiber, flip lock grip. Trekking poles, uh, cut down right here, cut down thermo rest. Um, this, because it's summertime and it's hot, this is just a uh, microfiber sheet, a twin size microfiber sheet. Um, with these Florida weather, that'll be plenty enough to. Um, give me a little bit of cover that I need here and with the moisture wickening and clothing and stuff like that um, I really don't have to have any worries about hypothermia whatsoever um, my six moons designs to shoots plus shelter with a poly cryo ground sheet and uh, six tent stakes in there um, my first aid kit and my electronics bag it's got my flashlight it's got a charger um, very basic first aid kit, pretty much just a couple band-aids and some Neosporin. Um, I will have duct tape wrapped around my trekking poles if anything major comes along. Um, just a little stuff, uh, windbreaker thing. Uh, it's a really windbreaker, got some DWR finish on it. I figure at nighttime if I do get a little chill or if it starts to rain a little bit, then I can just throw it on and set up camp. I got my cook kit right here. Um, nothing fancy it's uh sorry about the paper or about the camera let me try to do this one handed real quick okay to my cook kit I got a bandana in there I'm um, not sure if that's going to stay in there or not two ounces of fuel more than enough for me considering I use an ounce a day at the most I've got a fancy feast Zelf stove. 
and I've got a Foster's two cup Foster's ridged line series flat bottom cook pot also Zelf um, and I have my batch stoves and this is a luxury item here my batched stoves um, coffee cup that I brought um, and like I said that's a luxury I just brought that for the heck of it and big lighter my food bag will be a Z packs sorry about that a Z packs food bag which I have packed let me I forgot to bring it out here walk in the tiny home here and uh, kick on the light hiker food for days right there I don't know if you could see all my water bottle out up there's hiker food out up there in the tiny home is some of my cook pot collections anyways here's my food bag Z packs packed extra food here's my platypus two liter water bottle that I'll have to carry uh, extra due to the fact that there's no water sources out there but uh anyways back out here and back out here to the tiny home uh, outside that's pretty much my cook kit and uh, my total weight for all this stuff guys my total weight was um, less than uh, um, five pounds for a base pack weight it was right at a uh, four pounds and nine and a half ounces total base pack weight um i could you know i could obviously probably save some uh weight here i think i got some extra tent pole in extra tent stakes in here um could probably save some weight on this and yeah. you know get something a little lighter or even just do without it get something you know completely but i like something to cover up with mm -hmm. and uh really you know that's about unless I you know this is about 11 ounces here for the uh, uh, ground pad um, I've cut it down and it's still coming out to about 10 and a half 11 ounces I could probably save you know uh, do away with that that's a luxury item I could really cut you know uh, over a half a pound there a little coffee cup that's a luxury item because I certainly don't need it but I figured it only weighs one ounce and uh, you know I, I I like to my coffee in the morning so uh, you know as far as my electronics bag goes it's just got my extra charger in it and it's got a an extra charger and a um, toilet paper um, which I could cut back probably on I got you know a pretty good roll of toilet paper in there and um, Yeah, I could save minimal weight on that But uh anyways, that's my super ultra light setup for a two-nighter um, You know, it's uh still a work in progress to go super ultra light but You know, that's what it's all about. That's what I have and um, That's what's gonna get me through two days and um, until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.